Welcome to my e-learning video. Here I am again to discuss a topic that you may use in your field of expertise. Also na kasi ngayon ang DIY or do-it-yourself. As long as may present lang yung instruction properly and easy to understand, then a video presentation such as like this can be the source of knowledge that could be useful in your field of interest. Okay, let's start another video presentation that can help you in processing your SSS loan payment through online. So in this video, I'm going to teach you on how to pay your SSS loan through online using the Metrobank eGov Converter. If you notice, I posted an e-learning video regarding the installation of new Metrobank eGov Converter dahil nga doon sa validation check na in-update ni Banknet sa pag-ibig payment. The same Metrobank eGov Converter will be using for SSS loan payment. Ang SSS loan payment kasi ay walang Excel template. Unlike ni pag-ibig payment, mayroon po, mayroon po siyang Excel template. Dito ko po ituturo kung paano magkaroon ng data entry for SSS loan payment. Okay, let's start the video presentation. The first thing we do is we need to download the billing LCL from Banknet website. To do this, kindly log in as maker in the Banknet website. Once log in, kindly click the link billing LCL and download the available billing for any applicable month. Pag wala po kayong makitang billing, kindly click the search button para mag-display po yung available billing. Kapag na-download na po ninyo yung billing LCL, puntahan po ninyo yung downloads folder using your file explorer. And mayroon po kayong makikitang text file na ang file name ay numeric. Yung first 10 characters ay nag-represent po ng company SSS number ninyo followed by a date and a sequence number. Ito po yung file na i-load natin sa Metrobank eGov Converter. So, i-activate po natin yung eGov Converter. Then, click this LCL button. Then, click Open. Then, i-search po natin yung billing LCL na nandun sa downloads folder. Unahin natin, unahin natin tong second file. Then, click this open button. Then, click OK. Now, this will serve as your data entry for your SSS loan payment. Dito sa upper right portion, mayroon po kayong option to add, edit, or delete record. And dito po sa upper left portion, mayroon pong option to change the applicable month, repayment date, and repayment number. Alam naman natin kung anong ibig sabihin ng applicable month. The repayment date is the date that you're going to pay your SSS loan. And for repayment number, kindly use your repayment date as the value for this field. But, converting the format into MMYYYYDD. Wala pong slash. So, in this case, I'm going to change this into 07-2020-27 if I'm going to pay this on July 27-2020. Kapag nakorek na po ninyo yung file, in balance po kayo sa trailer information like total amount paid, in total number of employees, pwede na po natin i-click yung convert button. Then, proceed. And, magpapap up yung message na conversion successful. Then, click nyo po yung OK button. I-redirect po kayo sa folder kung saan na-save yung SSS LCL notepad. Ito na po yung file na i-upload natin sa Banknet website. 
Now, balik po tayo sa converter. What if may error po sa pag-load ng billing LCL sa Metrobank EGOV converter? Katulad nito, ilod ko yung other billing LCL na nasa downloads folder. Itong first file. Mag-error po siya na source file is invalid. Dalawa lang po ang possible reasons na magka-error na source file is invalid. First reason is yung na-load nyo na billing LCL is belong to another company. Mangyari po to if you're handling more than one companies or corporations. E may chance po na magkamali po kayo sa pag-download ng billing LCL. Second possible reason is yung billing LCL, LCL ninyo ay walang employee record katulad nito. Unlike sa second file, ay mayroon pong employee name, name na Danny D. So, ano po ang gagawin para masolve to? You can fix this by deleting this record below and copy any employee record from another billing LCL. Then, save. Let's try to load this if it really work. Loading is successful. Walang error. So, I'll be uploading this file in Google Drive para mayroon po kayong pangkuna ng record if yung billing LCL nyo ay walang employee record. Mayroon po akong link na inilagay below my YouTube channel name. Pakiclick lang po yon para ma-redirect po kayo sa Google Drive ko and may download po ninyo yung file na may employee record na Danny D. Dito po nagtatapos yung video presentation ko. At this point, I'm going to end this presentation by saying thank you very much for watching. And I hope mayroon po kayong natutunan sa video ko. If it's not too much to ask, please like my video and click the subscribe and bell button below para makaka-receive po kayo ng notification for my next video. Thank you very much and ingat po kayo.